Just after 11 a.m. local time on Monday morning on Mexico's Pacific coast, the sun will disappear. And across North America, hundreds of science experiments will be prepared for launch. Total solar eclipses over populated areas are rare enough to be excited about. The sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, but it's also 400 times further away. So when all three line up just right, one covers the other perfectly, like a lid sliding onto a pot. The 200-kilometer-wide shadow they make will drift from Mexico across the U.S. to Newfoundland in Canada in just an hour, plunging locations below into total darkness for four and a half minutes. And that's when researchers, the National Space Agency, and thousands of citizen scientists will embark on a data-gathering bonanza. 600 high-altitude balloons will be released. A four-kilometer-long kite will point a measuring instrument at the sun. Rockets will launch from an island in Virginia, and jets will take off to fly inside the path of totality, noses open, cameras on. These experiments will aim to unravel the mysteries of two boundary areas where some of the rules of our solar system remain unknown. On the sun, that's the corona, the star's vast atmosphere. The corona is millions of degrees hotter than the sun's surface below, but that's a bit backwards, and scientists still don't know exactly why. Back on Earth, they'll look at the area above our breathable atmosphere, called the ionosphere. Here, satellites and radio operators communicate and global positioning systems function. But the ionosphere fluctuates with the sun's energy, and it's especially sensitive to solar flares. The sun, you know, albeit, you know, it's, it's warm, it's bright, it's, it's it, you know, it gives us life. At the same time, it's a self-sustained thermonuclear explosion in space that we have to live next to. Um, so the more that we understand how those outer layers work, um, the better we can kind of predict the violent activity of the sun and try to protect ourselves at Earth. With better tools, more smartphones, and more research centers under its path, more data will likely be gathered during this total solar eclipse than ever before. It's an hour that scientists will study for years to come. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.